Okay, good morning YouTube friends and a AP people. Um, I've been blowing you off lately because um, of tax time and you know a lot of stuff is crazy at tax time. Um, so uh, and we've had quite a bit of rain. I had a little running to do up in Maryland. I wanted to go up there. Uh, let's see, I have done a couple things in between the rain. Uh, let's go with my failed stuff first. And a failed attempt at a condo. Um, it became a pump victim. It's much too light um, to withstand the current of the pump. Um, the idea is to affix it against the pool wall, like here, and the fish think they're hiding. I saw it on the Discovery Channel, uh, how they do a uh, grouper down in Florida. Um, guys go in once they set these up, and they go in with their gear, and they dive down, and they take their gloves, and they snatch them by the tail and put them in their bag. <laughs> so when they're big enough that they think they're hiding, and they're sticking out big and fat, you just go right up and grab one and stick them in, stick them in the bag. Okay, that's it. Um, ignore that fair tax sign. Uh, that was an initiative where they were uh, paying me, because they can't get it done by themselves, because folks know there is no fair tax. Let's see, tax is not supposed to be apportioned to the American people. It's for corporate business folks. But they've changed you and made you a person and registered you as a foreign corporation so that they can tax you. It's mental gymnastics they have had to do because, and legal, uh, not lawful, because um, the protections your founding fathers gave you were tremendous. So they have to leap through hoops of fire to make it uh, legal, not lawful. Okay, enough history lesson. Production. Some production. Um, this is a very long tube, PVC three quarter inch, on sale at Home Depot. Um, that I'm going to use as structure to support a feed line uh, from that table to that table. And then I'm going to top feed down this black line as you can see here. Uh, I got some plenty of slack here as you can see. Um, I'm going to top feed down all around what I'm calling these are going to be spokes uh, in a wheel I guess. Um, and I wasn't going to do this PVC configuration because PVC was so expensive, but Home Depot's having a sale, so I jumped on it. Um, normally these pipes are uh, 4 inch, um, schedule 40, 18 bucks. Uh, on sale now for 8 bucks, so 10 bucks off. The same with the 3 inch, schedule 40. Um, normally $16, now 6 or $5.99. So I thought, well, what the hell. Since I had ordered the burlap uh, for, the, um, for the lettuce table, um, and there was no getting burlap cheap uh, unless you were going to pay through the nose for just a little bit of it, um, and it really wasn't cheap. At any rate, um, I got the burlap. Some of the important things about the burlap to know is the weave, or the mill, or the um, ounce weight. This is a seven ounce burlap. You can see this, the weave structure on it. It's large enough for roots to pass through, but we'll keep the hydrotons. I don't know if you can see the splashing right there. Can you see that splashing? It's simple back pressure feed. I just looped it at this end and then drill the hole, drill the hole. I snatched these plants from over here, uh, collards and uh, Indian mustard greens. I stole it all that hole and that hole there. Um, pretty simple process. Uh, schedule 40, three, uh, three inch schedule 40 is actually three and a half inches wide. So I took a three and a half inch hole saw and drilled it out. Cut the PVC, three inch PVC, and made a cup out of them, basically. That's it. Nothing, not brain surgery, nothing difficult. Um, I don't know if I spoke about the, uh, the burlap table. This is a lettuce design table from a guy on YouTube my buddy found a few months ago. I can't give the guy proper credit now because I can't remember 
uh, where I got it. I'll try to look and see if I can find it and give him credit in the sidebar. But uh, if you do a, uh, a YouTube search for um, hydroponics, not aqua, because he was hydro. Hydroponics, lettuce, and Jamaica. Um, he had a pretty nice operation. That's where I got this idea from, and I'll, we'll endeavor to give him proper credit. But uh, all you do is take burlap, feed the line, I did here, back pressure feed, of course. I wrapped it in the burlap and just took wire and hasty sew like a man might sew. But actually in the core they teach you to sew quite well. I'm a quite proficient sewer. I am not a seamstress, but I can sew. I can darn a sock, I can fix a pocket, tears, and of course I can sew on rank. <laughs> Okay, so at any rate, I don't know if you can see this, the lettuce seeds, and I just scattered them down here to see how long they would take, and of course the wind's been hey, like 100 miles an hour around here, that's a gross exaggeration, but I'm picking up all kinds of other stuff in here too, so uh, I'm just going to let it come up, and whatever I'm supposed to eat, I'll eat, and whatever I'm not supposed to eat, I'll throw away. Uh, but that's it, lightweight table. Um, the important thing to remember about this is that um, it may be a growing media and it may support some bacteria. As I can already see, it's trying to grow bacteria up here. You probably can't see that on online, but that is a that's good stuff already coming out. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how to say it. It's just taken right to the burlap, I guess because it's so porous, fibrous. Uh, more so than the rock is not fibrous. It's got cells, but you know, but you know, but you know. All right. I'm not terribly articulate today, because like I said, I've been running around quite a bit, and uh, I'm a tad frazzled. Um, so, uh, I was surprised to come home and have all this stuff still be here. <laughs> okay, where am I at? 6.57. Uh, well, I guess I can tell you what I hope to do. Uh, I hope to have a few more spokes, maybe five or six spokes. I hope to take this other table. Uh, this other 8 foot section. I was going to have one long 16 foot run um, and then I decided that I would go for that plastic spoke over there um, PVC spokes and um, put both of them over here. Uh, what I'm going to attempt to do is uh, um, because I don't want to pour any concrete in the ground, I'm just against concrete as it goes, I'm going to take 2 by 4s and uh, cut them on a 45 and actually make the 2x4 the spike. I'll get a ladder and stand on top of it and um, I will pound the 2x4s down to the ground uh, thus giving me the structure required to support this pipe um, all the way around in this semicircle or three-quarter circle or half hoop whatever you want to call it um, as the support line for the black hose that I'll top feed down. I know I might be speaking gibberish because I'm not terribly um, squared away today, but uh, some of you might get it. Um, what else did I have that failed? Well, I guess everything's good. All right, that's all I have. Uh, thanks, guys, and uh, I hope um, you had fun at your uh, tax thing. All right, see you.